here's our lymphatic model in which we will be able to see all these structures, not all of them I suppose, the lymphatic capillaries are not shown, but we can see the lymphatic system denoted in white. Uh, you'll find that if we follow the flow of the lymphatic system, we go from lymphatic capillaries to lymphatic vessels, which are all these little individual white lines. So these are all lymphatic cap vessels. They all pour into, depending on what side you're on, if you're on the right upper side of the body above the diaphragm, you pour into what we call the right uh, through lymphatic nodes, and that's what these yellow guys are, and they're just named according to the regions. Uh, cervical lymph node, axillary lymph nodes, brachial lymph nodes, inguinal lymph nodes, uh, intestinal lymph nodes. They're all named according to the region that they're describing. But if you're in the right side, you'll find yourself pouring into a very small structure. It's not really denoted very well. Um, you can actually see it kind of coming up and then pouring into here to the right subclavian vein. This is called the right lymphatic duct. If you're anywhere from below the diaphragm, or on any part of the left side of the body, you get poured into this much larger structure, which is called the thoracic duct. If I look way down here, you'll notice that the thoracic duct enlarges below the diaphragm as something we would call the cisterna chile, which acts like a bellow. Every time you breathe in, it kind of squishes this and then moves uh, lymph forward. And so this one, of course, will ascend ultimately into the left subclavian vein. And you can see this again, if we just kind of review the lymphatics, it's pretty simple. We got all these lymphatic vessels all over the body. They get filtered through lymph nodes, depending on what region they're called, and whether or not if you're in the upper right or the left side or below the diaphragm, you get either poured into the right lymphatic duct that goes into the left subclavian, or the right lymphatic duct that goes in the right subclavian vein, or the left uh, side of the body or below the diaphragm, you get into the thoracic duct, which has the cisterna chile, which gets dumped into the left subclavian vein, and then, of course, you're back into the circulation. This model also has some nice superficial veins here. You can see the cephalic vein coming down on the arm here, and then the basilic vein coming on the pinky side, draining into the brachial vein. And then, of course, the external jugular on this side, as well as then you can see some of the structures here, this great saphenous vein on the leg, and then a little bit of the hepatic portal system. Otherwise, this uh, is mainly for the lymphatics.